Hey, respiratory family. These are two size bollards that we have. Bollards are um, suction catheters for our endotracheal tubes and our tracheostomy patients. We have this bollard for the endotracheal tube. Can you tell why it's for the endotracheal tube? This bollard is here for the tracheostomy tube. Can you tell why it's for the tracheostomy tube? This allows us to um, connect to a suction setup, um, usually via mechanical ventilation. So this part here, we'll connect it to the, this corrugated tube in here, to the HME. It goes to the, to the endotracheal tube in this case. This part here, corrugated tubing goes to this part. This little part goes to the tracheostomy tube and into the mechanical ventilator. So when you pass this catheter through, it goes in this case to the tracheostomy tube down the patient's airway and allows for the suction secretions out. In this case, much longer, goes into the endotracheal tube. This goes down into the endotracheal tube not through the suction the patient secretions out. Both of these are from mechanical ventilation and allow for you to suction the patient through a closed system, which is more sterile than, you know, of course, an open system. So let's probably use these more frequently. We don't want to introduce any foreign substances or any bodies to the patient's airway. So we use these closed system suctioning. These tooth here, Sometimes if the endotracheal tube is too tight and with the bollard, we have to use this tooth to wiggle it free. Um, it's not, it just have them in the package just in case we need it. I haven't used it that much, but bollard for our tracheostomy tube, not bollard for endotracheal tube. Let's get suctioning.